guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing my eight week pregnancy update um so today I have entered eight weeks zero days and I'm pretty excited um every week every new week seems to be going if I'm not if I'm being honest it's going slow um but um there's nothing I can do about that. Time moves as it moves. Um, but my main um, symptoms or, yeah, my main symptoms this week was definitely the nausea. And um, so I mentioned in the week seven that I've been experiencing um, extreme nausea um, throughout the day and I have to eat every two hours. Well, <clears throat> that is still the case. I do get nauseous. Um, but since Monday, um, no, since Saturday, um, the nausea has decreased um, about half. Um, so while I still do feel nauseous, it's not that it's not every single second of every single day. And um, so that's obviously a massive improvement. And um, I did take on some of the suggestions that people said here, and um, added more protein. Um, to my food that I was eating every two hours. I still can't stand to cook food. Um, the smell of it is just not nice. Um, so cooking food is out of it. So Robert really has to cook his own dinner when he comes home. And he comes home late in the evening. And um, so I do feel a bit awful about that. Um, that I can't really do that for him because like it usually would be I'm home first because I only work half days and then he comes home like four hours after me and I am saying hi hello how was work and then walking out of the room so he can make some food because he's starving and um, so I do feel bad about that that I can't um I can't stand the smell of things so I just can't do it um the other thing that's been happening like the uh, previous weeks is um and gassy i found this week as well i have a lot more indigestion so i'm belching a lot more and um, that's been pretty uncomfortable um especially at night time um, my stomach feels horrible um it's very tight um, it has like a full feeling um and then i'm just belching and belching and belching and i feel like i need to just belch and fart all the time sorry TMI but that's what I feel like especially at night time when I go to lie down and the other problem I'm having is um I mentioned this last week too that um I sleep on my stomach um which I'm obviously trying not to do um and I'm finding it extremely hard and I wake up about five or six times a night um because I don't want to lie on my stomach anymore and it does kind of hurt me a little bit when I do lie on it so I kind of seem to wake myself up as I'm turning over from side to side. Um, I can manage fine lying on my right side, but I've read that you should lie on your left side. Um, when I'm on my right side, I can stay on my right side. I don't fall over onto my stomach. But when I'm on my left side, um, it just seems like I always just end up on my tummy. Um, and sometimes it's fine, sometimes it doesn't hurt, but then most, sometimes it does. Um, so it's kind of a I'll work on it there's nothing I can really do about it um, another thing that has been happening is I've went back to work this week and um, so I'm definitely more tired in the evenings now and um, because I'm using a lot more energy and um, my plan is to start um, walking this week because I've just found that while I have no energy when I do actually get up and do stuff um, I do feel a little bit better in myself and um, so what I was kind of doing was just like being sick and not doing anything like staying in bed <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna try and at least go out for like even walk to like my parents house or Robert's parents house and um, it's like a 20 minute walk um, and that would be good because the weather is pretty okay here so as long as it's not raining I mean there's really no reason why we should be driving down there in the first place um, also another thing I need to work on this week which I've been pretty bad at um, the last couple of days is drinking water I was so good at the start of drinking water I was drinking like two to three liters a day and um, I was so good and then literally when I started being very nauseous and um, I couldn't 
I couldn't drink water and um, I'd have like a glass or two a day and that's it um, so I'm definitely gonna try and up my um, water intake again um, what else oh yeah um, so last week I was saying to you about how I applied to my maternity hospital that I wish to go to um, to get an appointment there so I got a appointment for the 9th of September um, so I think I'll be 12 weeks exactly um, so I have two appointments on that day um, as I said this uh, this particular hospital is on the outskirts of Dublin um, which is like a 40 45 minute drive it depends on when I go um, it could be longer it could be shorter um, but they do have um, satellite clinics so what's perfect is I just need to go to the next town over and um, to the local hospital there and they have a clinic set up there so that works out perfectly for me and um, so at 11 a.m. on the 9th um, of September I have my booking appointment and um, so that's where I'll meet with my midwife and or a midwife and um, go through like the health questionnaire do bloods urine that sort of stuff and then at 2 25 that day is when I have my date and scan um, so Robert's gonna come for that one. He's not gonna come for the book an appointment, um, because he'll be working and he doesn't really need to be there for the first booking appointment. Um, but he will definitely be there for the scan. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that is all of the things I can think of. I haven't wrote any notes down today, so I'm sure I'm probably missing one or two things. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. I'm now reached over 600. Um, so that's amazing. Um, my channel has been growing very good the last couple of weeks. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And um, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And I will be back soon with another bump date. Bye.